What are you going to say to Coop? That you thought you talked to Marina? <laughs> he thinks that she is dead. It's just cruel. Now you have to make sure you know for sure. That was just a big rat. That was just a big rat. This is not some slasher movie. It's just a rat. Very clever getting my phone like that, Detective Cooper. I wouldn't recommend doing it again. <laughs> in a slasher movie. Um, the first noise is always a rat, and then the second noise is always the slasher. You, you have to do this. You have to do this for, for Coop and Marina. Griggs was once he left New York. I said no. I didn't tell him about the lighthouse bells. I didn't tell him that his daughter might be here somewhere in Springfield. Well, you did the right thing. You know, if you're going to keep me locked up here, you might, you might serve me a drink. No, this isn't the Spalding Mansion, Alex. There are no servants here. No kidding. If I have one more meal of macaroni and cheese, I think I'd rather be in prison. Oh, don't tempt me. One phone call to Frank, tell him that you're the one who masterminded his daughter's kidnapping. You know, you would think that the, somebody in that household of mine would miss me. You know? I mean, I've been released from the hospital, what, days now? Where does Alan think I am? Yeah, apparently your family doesn't care. Look, Griggs isn't going to hurt Marina. Not as long as I keep paying him money. Then why hasn't he called you? I don't know. I don't know, but she's going to be fine. <sighs> you got to know that I would never put, put Marina in any real danger. Not... You had her kidnapped by a killer. I swear, Alex, if anything happens to her, Frank won't be able to put you in jail. You'll already be dead. And what do you think he's going to do to you, huh? Have you thought about that? I mean, once Marina is back, do you think he's just going to let you go? And you think Harley's going to help you? Oh, you don't know that family. Once you've served your purpose, they don't need you anymore. They'll toss you right back in prison. Now, can we please order a pizza? You missed the vigil. I was tracking a lead. Is it a good lead? Not yet. How's Frank? Did it help him? Frank didn't make it. Really? So he's at the station? I've been out in the field all day, Dad. Where, where are my kids? Oh, well, they're fine. They're upstairs. They're playing. They were just... They miss you. Great. That's what I want to hear. You want me to lie to you? No, but uh, what am I supposed to do? I can't have them at the house. It's too dangerous. Not until Griggs is brought in. The vigil's going to be on TV tonight. It's going to be in the news. So why don't, you, why don't you stick around and watch I it? I can't. I can't. Just tape it for me, okay? Hey. What? I'm calling Daisy, you know. She's just not answering my calls. She's here, you know. Really? And she needs you. I need her. I miss her. I'm going to make it up to her, Dad. I will. As soon as I find Marina, it's going to be mother-daughter time all the time. Honey, can't you? I mean, you know, with all that's going on with you, can't you just, like, give somebody else the lead in this case? You know, uh, Gus, Mallet, somebody? I can't do that. I can't do that. But maybe I'll... Maybe I'll go up there now. She'll talk to me, maybe, you know? Dad, I can support my daughter, you know, and, and bring Marina home. I can do that. 
Sometimes when you try to do too much, nothing gets done. Yes. It's just, I, I have this feeling, you know? I'm so close to finding Marina. I, I just, I feel it. Okay, Ashley. Where are you? us brothers. None goes his way alone. All that we send into the lives of others comes back into our own. She's okay? Look, she didn't see me. Okay, just let her go. Yeah, you managed to distract me. Steal my phone, and this is who you call? Whoa. She's a cop? No. No, no, she's not a cop. I, I called the station, but I got a hotline. She's just a volunteer. A volunteer? Why would a volunteer come here alone? Obviously, no one believed her. Right? So just, um, don't hurt her. Okay, she didn't see you either. And the bump on her head? You can take her purse. People will think it was a mugging, right? Come on. You say I'm bad at my job. You know, if I were you, I'd stop talking right now. And if I were you, I'd stop doing things to get myself caught. <laughs> right? I mean, she's the DA's daughter. You don't want to make things worse than they already are. Is it really worth it? You know, I'm beginning to wonder if... you're worth it. Chief, go home, get some sleep. That hotline call list, there's nothing on it. We're on top of it. What the hell is this? It says my marina called. Sorry about that, Chief. It's not real. That that young girl took the call, the enthusiastic one, the DA's daughter. Ashley. Yeah, yeah, she's the one. She told me about the call, but it's just like all the other coots claiming to be Marina. So don't we check this out? Well, it's on the list, but we've got a hundred other leads that are more credible. It's excited to see you. I didn't even see them. I, it's too hard to explain to them why I can't stay. Daisy. She won't even open the door. I, I told her that I would come back later and check on her. Would you check on her for me? Make yes. sure she eats something. If you answer a question for me. If I can. This, you feeling so close to finding Marina. That's, is that real or is that just to make me feel better? It's real. So you know where Griggs is keeping her? That's two questions, Dad. Harley. Okay, look. The situation with Griggs is not what we thought, but it's a good thing. But Frank, he said he had no solid leads when he, since he came back from New York. So what... Do you know something he doesn't know? Sometimes it's better if fewer people know things. You can't tell everyone everything. He's not everyone. He's her father. Yes, and as her father, he's going to have every cop from five counties running through this town. He's going to have helicopters in the air. We can't do that. Her life depends on this. Well, you're not doing this alone, are you? You got backup, right? I've got backup. Gus. Oh, come on, Harley. I'm your father, her grandfather. I'm entitled to know. What if something happens? Who am I going to contact? It isn't Cyrus, is it? I mean, it... It's Cyrus. You know what your brother would say if he found out about this? Yes. What if this doesn't work? It'll work. What if Cyrus lets you down? 
and something happens to Marina. And what do you say to your brother? What do you say to me? Have you thought about that? Have I thought about that? This situation is all I think about, Daddy. I wasn't there for my own daughter. My little girl had an abortion all alone because I wasn't there for her. I'm not letting Marina down the same way I let her down. If you haven't noticed, I'm ignoring you. Have you forgotten that you are the one who betrayed me first? You had Marina kidnapped. And you stole from me. In my books, that makes us even. Yeah, you got your money back. Where's Marina? Okay, it's not totally fair. But come on, you're practical. You're a survivor like I am. I am not like you. <sighs> Cyrus... I know Marina is your first priority, okay? But let's play this out. Now, suppose Harley does break ranks and side with you. <sighs> Frank's, Frank's still going to lock you up and throw away the key, and I don't care if Harley throws a parade down Main Street. You can't change his mind. And you can? No, but together we can change the facts. To what? Well, it... Griggs... Blackmailed you into this robbery. How? By threatening Marina. And when you couldn't come up with enough money, I paid him off to help save Marina's life. Wow. You certainly come out well in this version of things. Oh, come on. At least it will keep us both out of jail. And you don't want to go back there any more than I do. And what will this deal with the devil cost me? Almost nothing. I, I just want to make sure that you don't walk out of this marriage quite so hastily. Thanks, but I'll keep shopping. Because of Marina. I love her, Alex. And you think that's going to keep you warm in prison? I don't want to live without Marina in my life. Well, what makes you so sure Marina's going to want you? I mean, after all, you're the reason she was abducted. I mean, what if she never wants to see you again? Hey, what did I just walk in on? Hey, no, just in time. For what? To hear me tell Alex that I'd rather rot in prison than stay married to her. Don't tell me to slow down. What the hell? Pour me one. <laughs> All right. Yo. How about another? One for good luck, huh? Uh, can we mix it with something, okay? Because I can't keep up with you. Oh, it's been a rough couple of weeks for you, hasn't it? No worse for me than anyone else in this family. You know, that vigil was supposed to bring us peace and hope. Yeah. It's great that so many people turned out for it. Did it bring you peace and hope? You know, Ashley asked me the same question. Ashley was also supposed to meet me at my place, and she never did. What's going on? You know what I like most about Ashley? What? She's always... She's always positive. She's always upbeat. All right, I've never met a single person with more positive thinking than her. Her mother constantly tears her down. She winds up in Jewy. Right? She doesn't let any of it bother her. So why'd she blow you off? 
<laughs> well, now that's what I want to know. Yeah, if she's so happy, why is she constantly leaving? Why is she running out on me? Have you asked her? Well, all I know is that every time we get close to each other, she makes these excuses why she has to leave. And now, now she's not even showing up. Can you hear me? It's Frank. Can you hear me? And why exactly do I care about your phony marriage right now? Because while you were gone, Alex was pitching me her latest, greatest idea about how she and I should team up, cover each other's backs, and blame the whole thing on Greg so we can stay out of prison. Well, I believe him if you want. He is a professional liar. That would make two of you. What my wife doesn't seem to understand is that right now, I don't care whether or not I go to prison. Mm. Every second... Marina is with Griggs. Her life is in danger. Mm. Which means so is yours. Well, are you threatening me, Detective Cooper? I'm glad that was clear. Yeah, oh, I'm sure Frank would be interested in hearing all about your abusive police techniques, let alone harboring a fugitive. Don't you dare bring up my brother's name. You have no idea what this is doing to him. Or my father, who's supposed to be your friend. Me? I can't let my kids sleep in their own beds. My daughter oh, is going through... Oh, like you have no idea what this has cost my family. Where's her phone? I am tired of waiting. You call Griggs right now. Look, I'm not supposed to call him. He calls me. You don't want me to tip him off. Will you make up a reason? I mean, you're not a stranger to lying. You tell him it's too long. You tell him no more money until you have proof that Marina is alive. I'll uh, just stop. Here you go. You know, I've been thinking. When I first grabbed you, you were on Cyrus's boat, ready to sail off into the criminal sunset. But when you grabbed my phone, you didn't call Cyrus. Why? Changing your tune about Cyrus? Or are you just worried he can't handle this? Won't go the distance. That would be my guess. Men like Cyrus bore easily. Not the type to sit around and pine for something. First thing you should know about Cyrus, he's a much smarter criminal than you are. Fire! Go. Hey, you're pretty loud. But you're not that loud, huh? Be my guest. Sing out, Louise. You know that little unconscious friend of yours? Way on the other side of the docks. <laughs> you little minx, you. Oh, Lord, these people. Yes? Is that you, Griggs? What happened to calling me from a payphone? Well, believe it or not, there are no payphones right near the Spalding Mansion, but don't worry. Nobody knows I'm calling. I was supposed to call you. Well, I got tired of waiting. And you don't think I'm going to go on paying you indefinitely, do you? And unless I know the Marina is alive. But I sent you her bracelet. <gasps> well, that taggy bracelet could have been taken off her corpse. No, I want to see in, in person, in proof that she's alive and in person. Mm -hmm. Fine. Griggs wants to talk to you, Cyrus. So is it time to finally settle this, Griggs? Did you really think that I would believe that Alexandra would come anywhere near me just to prove that Marina is alive? Frankly, my boy, I really don't think she gives a damn. She doesn't care. <laughs> I'd rather deal with you myself anyway. 
Never cared for middlemen. So you're prepared to keep paying me? I'm prepared to end this. What? Shoot out at high noon? Very macho Cyrus. <laughs> as much as I'd like to see you suffer, the only thing I care about is getting Marina back safely. Now you can leave the country, Alex will wire you another payment, just let Marina go. Oh, that sounds like a very special deal. Trouble is, you have no credibility with me, Cyrus. Yeah. You lost that when you tried to play me? I would never do anything to hurt Marina. Well, that's good. I would never do anything to hurt me. I know you, Cyrus Foley. You want payback. The second I let Marina go, National Guard, bam. No way out of the country for Grigsy. You can't trust Cyrus, but you can trust me. Again, I feel so much better. And who is this I'm talking to? Cagney or Lacey? You need to freshen up your references. And you need me. Really? For what? I can guarantee that nobody else in the police department will be involved. And I should trust you. Why? Because I'm Marina's aunt. And I'm risking my career and my niece's life harboring this fugitive. All because I think it's the best way to get her back home. You don't want the SPD involved? I don't care. I just want my niece back. I am so bored with this little family drama. I agree. Name your terms. You, alone with my final payment. Alex knows how much. And I'll let Marina go. If I see anybody else with you, you'll never see your niece, is it? Again. I'll be there. And I'll call you back with a place to meet. Closed. I don't eat your food, Buzz. I just came about scheduling a debate. I have two granddaughters. One's been missing for weeks. I just came back from a vigil for her. The other one's not doing much better, so I really don't give a damn about debates. I'll have one of my people call one of yours tomorrow. You know, when they catch this guy, the guy that's doing this to Marina, the DA's office is going to come down hard on him. I promise you, I will convict him of everything from kidnapping to jaywalking. Doris, do you see any cameras? <laughs> Look, I know you don't like me, Buzz, but you can at least respect my work as DA. I have a very high conviction rate. I almost think you're sincere. I have a daughter, Buzz. I mean, if something like this happened to Ashley, I don't know what I would do. Ashley. Ashley, can you hear me? It's Frank. Ashley. Are you okay here? Sit up, sit up if you can. Where am I? You're, you're on the docks. Yeah, I was... I was... I was at the station and I got a call from Marina and she said that she was here. Why did you call me? I, I told the officer, you know, press and, and, um, and he didn't believe me. Ashley, you can always come to me. I just want to get your family's hopes up. I didn't want to, so I just wanted to come down here and check it out. Oh, it hurt so bad. They never do this in the movies. Did you see who did this to you? Um, no. I was um, I was looking around a corner, and then the, the next thing I know, I'm, I'm looking up at you. Okay. Um, where's my purse? Uh, you know what? Uh, you were probably mugged, and uh, maybe that phone call you got was maybe a setup. Listen, you never should come down here all by yourself like this. Next time you do this, you either contact me, or if you can't get me, then bring Coop. Coop, um, oh my God, what time is it? What? I told him that I would meet him. No, no, no. You listen, you're not going anywhere. No, no, I Ashley, have to go. Ashley, I'm supposed to, to be with to go to the him. Hospital. You could have a concussion. No, I, no, he needs me. Ashley, he please. Be alone. Sit, sit, listen, the ambulance is on the way. <laughs> you need to take it easy.
Poop? Are you okay? Yeah, uh, never been better. What could possibly be going wrong in my life right now? Uh, oh, well, why don't I help you get into your room? Mm. How's that? Uh, okay. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> okay, Sorry. all right, wow. Here you go. Upsie daisies. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, drink this. Oh. It's water. It, yes, it's water, but it's going to keep you from having a monstrous hangover. Trust me. Drink it. Mm. What is this? Flyers in the in the in the in the garbage? Oh. oh, please, don't even make me go back into that again. Go into what? The flyers, the vigil, the, the hotline. All right, look, it's great for Buzz and Frank and Harley. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't want them to lose hope. And you have? Look, if I could find Marina right now, I'd go and do it. I would do anything, but just sitting around here, I, thinking about where she might be, I mean, what she might be going through. <sighs> Look, I, I, don't even, I don't even want to talk about it right now. No, no, you, you need to talk about it. You can't keep this bottled up inside. <clears throat> you need to talk about it. <clears throat> I tried. Okay. I started talking about it, but, you know, where is she? Where? Nowhere. She? Yeah. Ashley? Yes, Ashley said that she would meet me right here in my room and that we would sit all night if I needed to and we could talk about it. But, you know, hey, where okay, is she? Okay. She's not here. So obviously okay, she okn didn't okn want to talk okay, about okay. it and hear what I had okay, to say. Okay, you know what? I am here right now and I don't know where Ashley is. But whatever you need, I'm here. I don't need to be here, Frank. I'm cool. It's not like I have a concussion. So now you're a cop and a doctor? Okay, okay, I'll come back tomorrow. I swear, it's just there's some place I really need to be. Will you do this for me then? Because when I first saw you lying down on the dock, sir, I didn't know if you were dead or alive. The last thing I wanted was to cause your family any more worry. I know it was really stupid to go out there by myself. It was stupid and brave. And it really means a lot to me that you care that much about Marie. Would just do me one big favor. <laughs> Don't ever do anything like that again, okay? Okay. <laughs> I got too much else to worry about right now. <laughs> so, uh, um, would would you do me a favor? I, I, I actually need to. Um, I need to get back to the station right now. And uh, can I trust you to to stay here? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Bye. Feel better. Chief Cooper, I need you to call the lab as soon as possible. I need them to pull Marina's DNA file. I may have something here. <laughs> Where's the press when you need them here? The rival candidates, you know? <laughs> you know, I, I didn't... I didn't think you were going to say yes when I invited you to have a drink with me, so... Well... Well... There is something I've been wanting to talk to you about. Yeah. It's not the campaign. It's our children, Ashley and Coop. You pro or con? Are we debating? Hmm. Depends on what side you're on. Well, then I think they're old enough to make their own choice. But since you asked, yes, I like them together. Oh, then you buy the fairy tale too. Why a fairy tale? The two of them. I mean, come on. Sooner or later, Coop is going to remember that he likes the Lizzie's and the Avas of this world, not the Ashleys. Since Ashley's been working for me, I've gotten to know her. I just... Excuse me, but I don't think you give her enough credit. <laughs> Why is it that everyone feels free to criticize my mothering? You know, I raised that girl single-handedly while I put myself through law school. Do you think that was easy? No. And you, you, what? You, you left your eldest child and then let your youngest be raised in a different country. 
You're right. You know your daughter better than I do, and I know Coop. But I know that your daughter makes my son happy most of the time. And happiness is a short supply around this place. But what happens when it ends? I mean, what happens when Coop leaves Ashley? She's going to be destroyed. Why? Why are you so sure it's going to end badly? Doris Wolf. Yes, I'll be right there. Well, <clears throat> that was the hospital. Ashley's in the emergency room. Apparently, she was attacked while she was on the docks searching for your granddaughter. You still think your family's not going to hurt my daughter? Well, it won't be long now. Aunt Supercop should be here soon. Hey, not for nothing. You haven't exactly been the greatest company. It would be really nice to have a, a guest. Cosme Griggs alone. He'll kill you and then he'll kill Marina. I know what I'm doing. I'm trained for this. You need backup. Why don't we just sign Marina's death warrant? He said me and the money. That's it. Oh, so we just give him everything he wants. He wants out of the country, Cyrus. He's not going to shoot us both and then just walk away. He might. He'll be halfway around the world and we won't even know where to find your bodies. If I tell you where I'm going, you're going to follow me. And if you follow me, so help me, I will call Frank and I'll have him pick you up. I don't want you risking your life. It should be me. And I'll gladly give up my life to get Marina free. I believe you when you say that. Maybe you're not so bad for her after all. Would you like me to go with Harley? No, of course not. Why put yourself on the line when you can hire other people to do it? What are you doing? I don't have a gun. I need a weapon. Are you, are you going to follow Harley? Of course I am. No. She told you not to. Well, since when did I do it untold? Yes. I have a tip for Chief Cooper. Tell him that I know where he can find the man he's looking for. Nurse, do you know where my daughter is? Uh, Ashley Wolf. They said that she was here. She left. What, but she, she's okay? Her injuries weren't serious? Well, I don't know. What, what do you mean you don't know? I mean, you, you, you must have released her. You know, just let, let a seriously injured young woman walk out of a hospital. I checked her in, but she ran off before the doctor could examine her. Oh, unbelievable. You can tell me anything mm. you want. You can scream mm. and yell and throw stuff around, and I'm not going to leave. I'll be right here for you. Hmm. You are here, aren't you? Yes. Hmm. And you, you, you did not leave when I told you, did you? No, I didn't leave. Hmm. You can tell me anything. I just want you to be happy. I want you to be oh, oh. <laughs> watch out. Oops. No, no, no. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I... Oh, I shouldn't be doing this. I, I, I had no problem with it. No. Uh, Ava, look. You may not have a problem with this, but I do. Please, just... It's not as big as I'd like, but it'll have to do. Cyrus, please don't go. Come on. Griggs is going to have a gun. That's not going to protect you. Maybe not. Come on. Just let Harley do her job. Goodbye, Alex. If I never see you again, 
my death won't be a total loss. Going somewhere? meeting you, but don't want to start off with a lie. Well, welcome to my den. Said the spider to fly. This has been Guiding Light.